Welcome to another edition of Chris Speaks. Um, this is I'm Christopher Thompson. Welcome to another episode. I haven't given I haven't had an episode in what I haven't done this in about a year or two, I think. Haven't been really into politics or anything. And so right now what I want to talk about is what's going on in in Israel, Palestine, whatever. And I'm going to preface this by by saying so I don't get any people try to say that I'm anti-Semitic or that I support terrorism. The, the October 7th attack was completely wrong. It was completely not justified. And it's another thing of Hamas up to their old shit. But it does not justify... And nothing ever does justify it. Israel always fucking goes overboard. And okay, what were there like? I don't know, like a few, few thousand people, like a less than two thousand people were killed in that that horrible attack. It was still horrible, but I'm bringing up the numbers because now, in like a little over a month, Israel has killed like twelve thousand people. And they just said the other day that they've, oh, well, we killed, the, they're basically saying the, the amount of Hamas people they killed is like 12,000 people. Well, then who are the, other, where's the other like 10, 11,000? They're all innocent people. You're telling me with all the equipment that we give to them, all the planes and tanks and stuff and the soldiers, that they can't possibly of not kill a bunch of civilians when if they were going after Hamas they would already have fucking destroyed Hamas they're not trying to go after Hamas they're using this as an excuse and this and and the day that that attack on Israel happened the 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 security on that wall suddenly was like shit when, when every other time they'd fucking shoot at kids who got too close to the wall, but on that day they didn't. It seems like Netanyahu let this shit happen so he could have the excuse to finally get rid of the Palestinians in Palestinian people. I mean, they were there first. The Palestinians were there first. Uh, and most people don't realize that Israel, the state of Israel, has only existed for 75 years. These, these are not the Jews of the Bible. These are people who migrated from Europe. And at the end of World War II, because of the horrible... Yeah, they did go through a lot of horrible shit that Hitler did. But then they go to, to Palestine. And when even when they first get there, they constantly say this thing of, Oh, a people without a, a land without a people for a people without a land. What do you mean a land without a people? They were there the whole time. And they constantly say things like, oh, Palestinians don't exist and blah, blah, blah. Well, why is, why are we supporting a country that instead of really going after the people, the terrorists or whatever they're saying they're going after, are really trying to get revenge and see how many freaking Palestinians they can kill and push out. And they've literally local, lately said stuff like that the Israelis assess stuff like this is a Nakba, I think is what they called it, which means which means it's genocide. And they're purposely, they're trying to push the people out. They're, what they're trying to do is they're, they're, they're gonna kill as many as they can, but the main goal is they leave, to get them out either way, whether they force them out to, um, to be, by being, making them refugees, in which case, there's another thing people don't know, they can't just leave, I mean, they can leave, but they'll never be able to return. They'll be able to return to visit people, but they will never be able to live there again. And I mean, <laughs> some people would kind of ask, why would they want to live there under those circumstances? But I mean, it's their home. And so basically, I, they, I, I remember seeing years ago uh, Israeli politicians saying that, well, what do we, we, how much land do we want? Well, we want all of the land, and we want to get rid of all the Palestinians. And they said we don't kill, care if we kill them or expel them, as long as we get them out. And all these things of people say, thinking that it's fucking okay. Okay, we hear over and over and over, uh, and any time there's something about. 
what's going on in Israel, excuse me, what's going on in, what is it called, Gaza, the, the fir first thing they mentioned is the, the attack on Israel uh, back in October. But shouldn't the first thing be that are killing, they've killed uh, tens of thousands of people who have not, had absolutely nothing to do with that attack. And it's just crazy that we support that. And then someone in Congress who is a Palestinian American can simply just state that she supports her, her fellow Palestinians and they censure her. I mean, we've had, we've had white freaking Cong Republican congressmen literally call for the extermination of Palestinians and they haven't even gotten a, sl a slap on the hand. But if someone just voices their support, oh, they're for the terrorists. No, they're, no, she isn't. I mean, Rashida, was it Rashida Tlaib or is it the other one? Yeah. Rashida Tlaib is, does not support terrorism. She supports her family members, her grandmother, and all kind, all the people that she has back at home. And and you're gonna censor her because she doesn't support the correct side? Like, give me a break. It's n not about her insinuating genocide which nobody can even prove that that the river from the river to the sea means that what they're trying to say it means at all and the whole thing is is oh okay you're gonna censor, censor someone because you think that that may allude to genocide while you're actually supporting genocide and you can literally say oh israel needs to murder all the palestinians and no one thinks anything of it nobody thinks of it anything of it all I'm saying is they were there first. They were there first. Let them have the little fucking slivers of land that are left that they have. Give them Gaza. Give them the West Bank. Freaking get the settlers out of the West Bank and let them live their lives and come up with something besides just bombing them out of fucking existence. I mean, I understand that Israel's there, Israel's been there for a long time, and you can't really expect them to just leave and go somewhere else. But at the same time, you can't expect the, the Palestinians to leave and go somewhere else. What we need is we need to dissolve both governments and, and help negotiate a government in which everybody in that land is a citizen and has equal rights. Because this bullshit thing of they killed me, so I'm gonna kill them. Back in this revenge shit, it's just been going on and on and on and on for 75 years. But my biggest issue is that nobody seems to give a shit if babies are dead and if they're brown skinned. Yes, it was horrible what Hamas did, and people are going on about the dead babies. What about the dead babies in Gaza? What about those dead babies? It's it's ridiculous. I mean, we're, we're just I I I've been irritated with with how America supports Israel. Not only do we support them, it's not that we, that America just supports them. America supports them by giving them weapons in order to oppress the people whose land they've stolen. And then it's like they've got the 90, the, Israel has 90% of the land and they can't just let them have their little sliver of land. Let them have their little sliver of land. And get your uh, the arrest and and stop the the what is it in the West Bank? All these settlers stop bring letting the settlers come in. Stop calling them in and stop letting them go in there and freaking splinter the land up and, and get away with murdering people. I mean those. those Nobody, like, okay, we're seeing what's in Gaza, but in the West Bank, they've been, for years and years and years, they've been murdering Palestinians. But, like, the Palestinians go out to harvest the olives, and then the, the, the settlers shoot them. It's like they can't even fucking live their lives. And nobody cares. I mean, put yourself in a situation. Gaza is an open-air prison. They, 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 they're... 
they have no supplies now most of them have no homes they've been suffering in poverty for years and years and years and then let's look at what nobody's talking about which is the west bank where they're basically putting they're letting all they're letting people come from other countries come in there their foreigners settle settle in there they're bulldozing over palestinian homes to so they can give the settlers homes and the settlers can fucking murder the palestinians and nothing happens to them nothing happens to them i mean it's it's like it's like it, it, the way it was in the south like uh, going like the 60s and before where they could just someone could just murder a black person if they were white and it'd be no big deal well it's the same thing the same things going on and and, and the, until we stop turning a blind eye to to what's really going on because of some misinterpretation of uh, of what's going on in some religious nonsense that has absolutely nothing to do with the current state of Israel. This is not the this is not the kingdom of Israel. These are not Israelites. That's why they call themselves Israelis. They are majority of them are Akhenazi Jews which are from Europe. There a lot of them are descended from well, a big chunk of the Jews there are from Europe and have no connection. Well, excuse me. The only the only study that ever said that the, the, they're genetically connected to the land was some Israeli university, like the University of Bethlehem or something like that. No, not Bethlehem. What's the... Uh, whatever one of their universities although every other study in every other country says that they have no connection to the land but genetically religiously maybe but then like that's like <laughs> then every christian and then every jew every christian and every muslim has a connection to the land but as far as genetics i mean the palestinians they have done genetic tests on them and they've been there for probably since like the stone age but nobody cares it, it, the reason we're supporting them is because i don't know it just sucks i just hate it, it, then everyone acts would act like i'm on the wrong side just for saying this people are gonna say i'm anti-semitic but i'm not i have no problem with jews i have no problem with muslims i have no problem with anybody i have a problem when a, a country that we're giving military weapons support to where we're giving them tanks and guns and planes to go and oppress uh, minority people in their own land that's all that's all for this episode good night